Go on with the okay. Sidewalks. My second agenda item is probably a, a easier topic than the first, um, but um, what uh, we're passing around now is um, the recommendation uh, to the Hampton Board of Selectmen, and and what I like to do is uh, have uh, some comment on this from the commission, uh, and then pass it over to. Uh, Board of Selectmen for comments and, and, and questions. Um, first of all, <clears throat> for once again our RSA uh, 216J. Under 216J colon 3 Roman numeral 1 and 2, it's the responsibility of the Hampton Beach Area Commission to advise and consult on matters that have an impact on the Hampton Beach Master Plan strategies advise and consult. We are not decision makers. Um, in this particular case, you will be the decision makers. You will be deciding on whether or not you will accept our recommendation, but you will be the decision makers. The other, the other thing that I think is, is very important is that when we look at transportation, when we look at traffic control, when we look at reconstruction of Ocean Boulevard, it's very clear in both uh, the existing conditions of the Hampton Beach Area Commission, where it, in talk, it does in talk, talk about the poor condition of Ocean Boulevard, and that is back in 2001. And under the transportation and um, related recommendations, which is in section number four, it talks about transportation recommendations and the reconstruct the need to reconstruct Ocean Boulevard. So both of uh, the, the existing conditions and the recommendations indicate that it's within our uh, responsibilities as a commission to explore uh, and review those areas. And then in exploring those areas to try to find remedies, trying to find strategies that would improve on those conditions. But once again, we can only advise and consult. So before I give my comments, I'd like to introduce some members that have asked to speak in front of the board tonight. And, and the first one is Mr. Watson, once again represents uh, the Department of Transportation. So good evening, everyone. My name is Bill Watson. For the record, I am the administrator of the Bureau of Planning and Community Assistance at DOT. I've been a representative of this Beach Commission under Commissioner Campbell, Clement, uh, Commissioner Sheehan now, <coughs> and the interim commissioners in between uh, um, those as, as we found um, the next leader for our agency. Um, my door is always open. Mr. Bean's been to my office and visited me in Concord. I've been down to talk with the town manager and other officials about sidewalks and other uh, related topics. Um, I grabbed the superintendent on her way out the door to my office that oversees the Safe Routes to School program. Uh, so if she's looking for some more money for some of the sidewalks related to Safe Routes to School for the Marston School, um, she'll be contacting me tomorrow or my staff tomorrow to see what opportunities we have because there is some leftover money out there. Um, and for many of these topics, it's why I love my job and I love being with the Speech Commission. Um, and not many people in state service can say they love their job, quite honestly. <laughs> um, that being said, I, I, I have the opportunity to work with many people, and um, when I need support from others, um, that support is there, and when the commissioner's office feels that I'm doing an okay job, um, then they, they let me do what I feel I do well. So as we go through the evening tonight, in one of those cases where I do need support, uh, we like to bring our, our directors and our appointed officials out. So I'll just um, identify them in the back. Dave Rodrigue is our director of operations. Uh, Dave oversees maintenance, all highway maintenance for the state uh, DOT. So when we talk about the coordination and the cooperation between the state and the town and dread for cleaning up the, the snow that appeared and disappeared quickly a couple of winters ago, it's Dave and his staff that make all that uh, possible, uh, as well as many other maintenance needs throughout the state. Um, 
as it relates to sidewalks and and I'm, I'm going to blend a little bit and I apologize if you'll bear with me for for the master plan or the, the Beach Commission annual report and the, and and sidewalks um, our stake is the same as yours in this conversation about sidewalks we're not in charge you know, we can talk about ownership and maintenance if you want to think of things and, and people being in charge of things but our interests are the same um, so as it relates to this three hundred thousand dollar grant these federal funds that are updating the master plan right now um, the department offered to step in and help the Beach Commission manage the money because there are so many strings attached to the funds we didn't want anybody getting into any trouble and I think the superintendent um, hinted at that a little bit when she was sitting here earlier talking about safer to school money um, and and to select and beans comments about the the required updates of the master plan that's the exact reason why we have this grant from from the Federal Highway Administration is to do those updates that we should be doing whether it's according to state law or just good business uh, so the DOT is helping to manage the project we're overseeing the funds make sure they're spent in compliance with federal highways uh, requirements but in terms of the products the updates of the master plan any recommendations that come out of it any recommendations from sidewalks it's the Beach Commission that that is the owner of that master plan update so it's all of us sitting here and you are all you at the, up at the table represented by John and Rick and all of the other organizations that are represented by the gentleman is sitting here and it just it, it's important to point that out that as we talk this isn't a, a, a an us versus them conversation this is all of us that have been working together um, John already mentioned that through the 10-year plan process uh, two years ago uh, there was an effort with Councilor Sununu's support to add two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to the ten-year plan to study Ocean Boulevard. That's above and beyond the three hundred thousand that we have right t right now today uh, for the master plan update. And there's going to be money left over from that master plan update that can continue to inform and, and start this study, the actual design work on Ocean Boulevard. And as Senator Stiles mentioned earlier. Um, we have not only about eight million dollars total dollars now in a 10-year plan for reconstruction the engineering's moved up into 2019 and 20. so we have a study going on right now that's going to finish in the next year or so we're going to um, which is a high level master plan update then we're going to dive right into the the engineering of ocean boulevard and in 19 and 20 we're going to be talking about what those ultimate improvements will look like we're going to have actual design plans created informed by many of the meetings that we've had over the last year or so public uh, hearings public meetings many of you have sat in them the past board has um, been involved in them as well uh, to to identify what the vision is for the the future moving forward and ultimately we're going to get to a point and this is where where it may become a little bit more DOT versus the town in some ways uh, that we have to have a conversation about sidewalks uh, and that's a conversation that whether it was Chris Clement or whether it's Victoria Sheehan or myself or whomever we're representing the department is open and ready to have with the town and and <coughs> compromise is part of the solution uh, whether it was represented as rice comments earlier that we all walk away a little unhappy in compromise or we all look at the positive side of that as to what the seacoast has to gain uh, from from all of the parties working together I think we've all seen what we have to gain with what dread has already accomplished with the work on the east side and how that's benefited um, the beach in general so I guess you know I'll, I'll wrap up quickly we are here um, the department is supportive of conversations um, we do not maintain sidewalks and that is a, a reality of, of this conversation we have to work with over the next few years if the if now is the time that the board is interested in opening to opening uh, interested and open to having conversation with the agency you have the commissioner's commitment uh, you have it from from my from my voice you have it from the senator's voice earlier <laughs> that we're ready to come to the town we're ready to come and meet with all of you and work on a solution that is acceptable and um, um, workable for all of us clarify because I, I, I think this is very very important correct me if I'm wrong 
that the willingness from both parties to work together, one has to understand that the acceptance of the maintenance of the sidewalk cannot be used as a um, it, it, it just it's 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 not something that can be put on the table I, th I think the the director can speak um, for me with a great level more detail but it is safe for me to say that we do not have the staff or the dollars uh, selectman Bean, you're you're rightfully frustrated at the lack of revenue that the town gets back from the meters and rooms and meals tax etc we don't get any of that dollar any either um, none of that money comes to the department to maintain anything down here in the beach area. We don't have any additional resources um, for maintaining sidewalks. We don't have any staff for maintaining sidewalks. The gas tax that's out there, the road toll <coughs> that's out there, is barely enough for us to fund our operations to keep roads open in the winter time. So as it as as it relates to sidewalks, it cannot be a conversation for us about the the state taking on that responsibility for maintaining a sidewalk. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Rage. I'll, I'll be quick. Um, the commissioners of the Hampton Beach Village District unanimously voted for the Board of Selectmen to support the Hampton Beach Commission. And the, I, I sent a letter in, I'm sure you've all got it, um, with our motion. I think bringing everybody to the table and, 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 and coming up with a solution is very doable. And uh, we will help in any way that we can. And I know everybody in this room has been down to the beach from the, from the bridge all the way down the Winnicott kind of Road. We've seen the conditions of the sidewalks. And something has to be done. This is in a 10-year plan. I don't want it to be in the 20-year plan. I don't want it to be in the 30-year plan. I've been down on the beach since 1981. And every year, it gets worse. And I see people tripping. I see flooding. I see that there's so many layers on Ocean Boulevard, I think we're at nine now, I'm not sure, that there isn't a sidewalk. The people walk into the street and are we gonna wait till there's more accidents and are we gonna wait till um, there isn't a way for people to load and unload getting into their businesses um, where trucks are gonna be hitting pedestrians because there, there isn't a sidewalk. People just walk everywhere. And if we can get a proper sidewalk where it's not three feet wide, where we have an area where people can walk. I I was down uh, the island section. The island section seems to get forgotten on a lot of times. And there was one sidewalk there that I don't think it was 30 inches. And I wish I was a little smaller. I could fit on a 30 inch sidewalk, but I can't. Um, we, we definitely need to work on this uh, for, the, for the town, for the village district, and for our tourists. Thank you. Mr. Murrow, would you like to add? I know that you were at a wedding uh, at our last meeting, so congratulations, by the way. Well, thank you. Um, the record, I, I'm Dean Merrill. I'm the uh, commissioner at large, I guess larger uh, in a few pounds from the wedding, which is a great time, but my wallet's a lot lighter. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I've been on this commission, I'm, I guess, the, the young person for, for three years, but uh, I've got to know what these, these, this group of people do. And, uh, and also, my, my year is to you know, have residents down at the beach along with the town and, and customers and so forth. And I think there, there's no debate that this, you know, the sidewalks need to be fixed, uh, I mean, you know, repaired and, and t maintained and those type of things. And I was looking down at some things like maybe Phil was looking at and maybe um, I'll bring up my grandfather because uh, he was in the state legislature. And this is probably around the same time, 19 1933 that he was probably up there and helped draft this agreement. Um, I will say that uh, he would he you know I know Mr. Rice had mentioned the Model Ts and whatever. There was a Model T down beach last week. I was driving it, but uh, um, but my grandfather would always look forward thinking. Uh, never talk about the past. Never talked about his is you know what he grew up with, but it was always forward thinking, and, and I, I think that's what this this commission has done as this group. And you know, just to bring this forward, to I appreciate the time tonight because um, I, we, we really think it's an important issue, and uh, let's see if we can get it done. 
Mr. Chairman, would you let the record show that Mr. Um, Merrill, while he is the uh, commissioner at large and he lives in Exeter, he has and his family lived in, some of them lived in Hampton Falls, but they've been business people that have operated here in Hampton forever. <laughs> And uh, so he's a very active business person here in Hampton. We also own property up on High Street, too, with oh, offices. Good. So. so then you are a taxpayer. <laughs> <laughs> Next is, uh, and I just want to just add one verbal comment with regard to Mr. Hausman um, and Mr. Bryce, who uh, I was with last week, <coughs> both of them, and in conversation with both, uh, shared with me that it I could, uh, with their permission, uh, share with the Board of Selectmen tonight that they will continue to support the efforts of winter uh, snow removal on the east side of Ocean Boulevard as long as the uh, budgets uh, continue on. Uh, but they are very willing to continue to be partners with the town and and uh, take their responsibility with regard to snow removal on the east, co uh, east side of uh, Ocean Boulevard. Uh, we now have Mr. Preston representing the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, John. Um, in order to not to be uh, redundant, I submitted many of my comments to you already for you to uh, have a minute to, to look over. Um, the reason being is I'm the quiet one on the board and they don't give me a chance to talk very much. <laughs> and after you heard Mr. Lawson, you know, he's the eloquent, eloquent one. So that he's hard to follow. A couple of you people have served in Concord. You, you, you know what that's like to bring forth legislation up there. It's really an uphill battle. You know, and yet, when I look at the efforts of Senator Stiles, she's incredible. You know, for her to bring this forward, being the chairman of the Trans Transportation Committee, you know, that's, that's a, a great accomplishment in itself. But for her to bring that kind of money to Hampton is wonderful. You know, we work with, with Bill Watson and Mike Hausman all year long for several years. I, I don't think it's appropriate to hear, you know, that, that we fight with the state because I can tell you there's a lot of uh, cooperation with what, what we do. When you look at a plan like this, you got to say to yourself, well, well, you know, what if you vote it down? I'm going to say, well, when is the next opportunity going to come along? The, the state doesn't come in and say we're going to spend six or eight million dollars, you know, in your town. And they particularly don't want to do it when you want to beat them up. Now, I heard earlier that we're, we're a third world, world nation. Well, I got to tell you today, this week I voted for Hampton Beach as one of the best boardwalks in the country. And we were number seven the last I, I read. So I, I, don't think, I don't think that it's fair to say that they don't do anything for us. You look at what's happening down that beach. It's incredible. I do want to go over a couple of the comments that I said to you just for the public. You know, years ago, the town voted to spend a lot of money. And when they did that to the, for the infrastructure, that, that's when things began to change. We didn't know it, but that's when they started. All that money, most of it went underground, but a lot of it went into sidewalks. So when you go down Ashworth Avenue today, those sidewalks look pretty nice. Sometime after that, Again, Senator Stiles, John, a lot of people in this room said, we're going to lobby to get a new seashell. And, and many of us said, in, in the, with the economy that we had at the time, we're never going to get $14 million in town. And yet, they did it. And that new seashell has become the jewel of the state park system. At that point, within a couple of years, the, the, the seeds seeds of, of growth of Hampton Beach became. Millions of dollars, millions of dollars of private money has started to come in to, to the beach, you know, with all, all the new condos. But it's not just condos. In my end, I look at all those houses, houses that have been totally renovated. And those are just as important as the big buildings because they help keep the character of our town, which we all want, I think. So, we're here to ask you that we want to continue with the transformation of Hampton Beach. And it is a transformation. I mean, it's amazing when I hear from my guests, you know, how, how much better it looks and they, they don't remember anything like that. People have not have been here for five years. 
have no clue in how it looks. Now, you, the board, have an opportunity to get an additional six, $6 million, but it's probably more, and it could be when we're all done, $16 million, to redo the boulevard. I think this is great for Hampton. I, I think it's great for our town's tax base. The assessments are all going to go up. The things that are happening down there are phenomenal. In order to get this big investment, the cost to us is we're going to maintain the sidewalk. Who's maintaining the sidewalks? I walk that boulevard. Nobody's maintaining those sidewalks. They're terrible. I don't know what they're going to look like in, in eight years. <clears throat> but this is the start to do something really, really good. And I hope that you can vote with us. Thank you. And, and finally, uh, Mr. Ladd. I certainly don't want to be everything that's been said, but I agree with everything that's been said. It seems to me the state and the town are in an irreversible marriage. We've got to figure out some way for it to work for both sides. And my experience for many years in the court system was if you don't talk, you can't solve anything. We, you know, the only way you fail is when you fail to try. And what I heard from Senator Stiles tonight was the state is already offering the olive branch of taking the snow, if you take it from the sidewalk and put it on Ocean Boulevard, they'll take it away. That, to me, from a mediating point of view, is a significant moment in time. Don't underestimate that. The state is saying, we want to talk. I don't think there should be any doubt that we should talk. What the result of that conversation might be will be determined at some future day. The only mistake tonight that could be made would be to refuse to talk. That would end the conversation, would end the opportunity, and we'll all be dead before the next opportunity presents itself. And uh, this has nothing to do with that, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to make one comment at the end of the meeting I put. I failed to identify the volunteer coordinator for the sandcastles, and if I don't do that, I may end up under the sand right <laughs> <laughs> Okay.